This was supposed to be a film by Mr. Watley. Mrs. Corley had too many gin and tonics. Mrs. Lewis said no, no one else would have a go. So now it's time for Mrs. Stevens phonics. This was supposed to be a film by Mr. Watley. Mrs. Corley had too many gin and tonics. Mrs. Lewis said no, no one else would have a go. So now it's time for Mrs. Stevens phonics. Hello there everyone and welcome to Phonics with Mrs Stevens. Now today I am not at home, I am actually in school, I'm in one of our rooms in school. So if you hear some noise behind me or around me that's because we're in school. I thought it would make you feel quite nice to hear the school sounds. So here we all go. So Phonics today, we um, should have our workbook pages. Hopefully if you have got your workbook page you should be on page 32. And it looks like this, everybody. We have got a phoneme spotter to do today. So that's something we're going to work on together. I've got it written up here on my flip chart ready. But before we are ready for all of that, I'm going to move that to one side. Let us practice our sounds to get our brains warmed up, to get us ready and remind our brains of all the sounds we already know. So I am listening, so make sure you join in. Here we go. E. I. Oh, oh, you or oo, oh, I, a, er, uh. you or oo, air, ow, make sure you're joining in, e, a, oi, oh, well done everybody. I hope you were joining in with all those nice and loud because the more we practice, the better we're going to get at recognizing them. Now, just like yesterday's session, we are still thinking about sounds, hearing sounds in words. Now the sound we are looking out for today is the sound Oh, oh, so don't worry about the letters, listen. What sound are we listening for? Oh, I say oh, you say oh. Good, so that's the sound we're listening out for today. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to do some reading. Now, you have got the same writing that I've got behind me here in your workbook, so you could look there. Or you can look and read with me when I move my flip chart a bit closer in a moment. Remember, as we do the reading, we are trying to listen for the sound O. Oh. What sound are we listening for? That's right, the sound O. Oh. Okay. Then we will go back and we will look at which letters are spelling that sound. But first of all, we're listening for the sound. The sound O oh, is what's really important, okay? So, I keep saying okay, that's got O oh in, hasn't it? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to move my flip chart a bit closer to the camera, so hopefully you can see it. This is what is in your workbook, okay? In your workbook, we are going to read it together. You can look at your workbook if you would like, or you can just look on the screen with me. So. It's actually a menu from a restaurant. So let's see what's on the menu, shall we? So well, first of all, we have got, for starters, we have got a bowl, bowl of slow, slow, roasted, roasted vegetable soup, soup a bowl of slow roasted vegetable soup. Then, if you don't like that, you could choose goat, goat's cheese tart, tart. Goat's cheese tart. Did you hear any O sounds in those words when we read them? Did you hear them? I did a bowl. I can hear O there. And when I look at it, I can see the O and the W together are making that O sound. A bowl of slow. I've got the O sound again with the O-W spelling. And then of slow roasted. Now I've got the O sound there, but this time 
it's the OA letter making that sound. So we've got OW here and here, and we've got the OA here, a bowl of slow roasted vegetable soup. Next bit, the oats cheese, goats. Look, I've got O again with the OA spelling, goats cheese tart. So on this page, we can see the OW, and the OA spelling of the O sound. Both of those say O, we can hear it, but they are spelled in different ways. Right, let's go over the page and see what else we can find. So that's what you could choose for starters. Let's see what we could choose for the main course. Here we go. Ur, roasted, roasted goose, goose, roasted goose with globe. Globe, roasted goose with globe, artichokes, chokes, and rosemary potatoes. Ooh, oh, oh. Or you could have smoked, smoked haddock and to, um, tomato, tomato paste. Okay. Did you hear any O sounds? Did you? I did too. Let's go through. So we could have roasted. Ah, look, the O-A spelling of that O sound. Roasted goose with globe. Ah, look, we've got the split vowel digraph. Oh, globe. And then we've got the split vowel digraph there in artichokes. Can you hear that O sound? And then rosemary, we've got the Split vowel digraph there, rosemary, potatoes. Oh, here we've got the O-E. O-E together is making the O sound there, isn't it? That's an unusual one. Then we've got smoked. We've got that split vowel digraph for the O sound again, haddock. And tomato. Oh, tomato. We've got the O, but just the letter O on its own saying O at the end there, haven't we? Um, tomato paste. So on this page, we've got the OA spelling for the O sound. We've got the OE spelling there. We've got the split vowel digraph O spelling. And we've got the O on its own. All of those say O, but they don't look the same. Same sound, different spelling. There is more than one way that we can spell the O sound. Let's see what we can have for pudding for dessert. Let's see if we can spot any different O spellings. Let's hear the sounds though, listening for the sound O. T -o -sted. Toasted waffles with poached, poached, toasted waffles with poached pears. Toasted waffles with poached pears. And then we've got d o nuts, donuts. Coated, coated in chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Oh, I could hear O again. So if we go back up here, toasted. Here we go. We've got the O A spelling of the toasted. With poached, we've got the O A spelling of the O sound again. But then here, donuts. My favourite donut. D O. We've got four letters making the O sound. O. U G H. It's quite an unusual spelling of that sound, so it's not one that we would use very often. Usually it's this one, the O A, O O, go for goal. This is the usual one. This is a really unusual way of spelling O, but it is still a way. And there they are, coated with the O A spelling with chocolate. So we've got the O on its own, just like we've seen before. So we have got quite a few different ways of spelling the O sound. Now, if you haven't done it already and you do have that workbook page in front of you with that menu card on, looks like this, then perhaps you might go through and read it for yourself and then draw a circle round or underline all the O spellings that you can spot. There are lots of different ways that that O sound can be spelled. So have a go, pause me if you need to, if you've not done that. If, you are, if you've already done that or you don't have that workbook, 
then we can carry on. We're going to do a really quick bit of spelling. So you could do with a piece of paper. And on your piece of paper, I'm going to use my flip chart. You can draw a phoneme frame. We'll do a four one. Remember, like I said last time, doesn't matter if it's wonky. Mrs. Stevens ones are never very tidy, but that doesn't matter. There's my phoneme frame. And we can have a go at spelling a few words with those spellings of the O sound that we just talked about. So the first one we're going to talk about is smoke. Now smoke, you kind of, it's not really smoke, it's steam, but it looks a bit like stone. You might get smoke off of a fire then. Let's talk about smoke that comes off of a fire. So let's sound it out first of all. S-m-o-k, smoke. Four phonemes, look. S-m-o-k, smoke. So we need all four boxes. Mmm, oak. Oh, now that's going to be a tricky one, isn't it? Smoke. So it'll be a bit tricky to put into our phoneme frame, but we'll have a go. Smoke. Okay. Have you had a go? So tell me the letter names. Call out the letter names. What do we need? We need the s. Okay. What do we need next? We need the letter S for the sound. What's next? The s. Mmm, good. Letter M. What do we hear next? Smoke. Mmm. Oh, so we're going to do this, but then we need a little sound in the middle. We'll do it like that across. What do we need here? Smoke. Good, we need a k sound. It's actually a kicking k for the letter K. Smoke. So there we've got the split vowel digraph. The digraph with the O and the E has been split and the k coming in the middle. Sm o Split into the middle, well done, smoke. Okay, that was a bit tricky getting that one in, isn't it? Let's try this one. Um, I wonder, I think a wizard, a magician or a wizard would wear a wonderful cloak, cloak. Let's sound that one out. K -u -o -k, cloak, four phonemes. Let's quickly draw the phoneme frame. I need four boxes for my four sounds. Let's hear the sounds. Uh, oh. Okay, you write the letters to match those sounds. Have you done it? Okay, call out the letter names to me that I need to write. So for the k sound, tell me the letter name. Good. It's actually a C, just in case. And then the next sound, the L, what letter do I need? Tell me the name. Good, I need the L. And then I need the O's. And we've got a zip together there, so what might it be? Yes, that's it. We need the O and the A. And then finally, at the end, the K. What letter? Brilliant, we need the K, cloak. So we've got our O-A spelling and we've got our O-E spelling. Let's just try one more, just for fun. I'm gonna do my four boxes again. So I'm having a think, I wonder what we shall write. Ooh, let's think what we could do. Let's do um, one that we've already looked at and it is something you would pour your soup or your porridge into to eat it. That's it, we need a bowl. B-O-L, B-O-L. Yes, three sounds, so we don't need that last one. So we need the B. Oh, can you just about see that one? Ooh, gonna be sharp at the bottom. B, O, O, oh, B, O. Just dip that down. Good, can you see? Yeah. B, O. Have a go at writing the letters to match those sounds. Everybody done it? Okay. Call out the letter names for me. For the B sound, we need the, good, we need the B. For the middle sound, we need the, O W spelling, well done, of the O. And then at the end we need the, that's it, we need the L, the O sound, brilliant. So we haven't practiced all, but we've practiced some of the more common ways of spelling the O sound. Not forgetting, of course, as we go back, that sometimes the O sound might just be O on its own, like in chocolate or in potato, that's just an O at the end. 
often it's the OA, very unusually, it might even be O-U-G-H, like we've got in Donut, but that's not a very usual way of spelling it. And sometimes we get the that O-E, like in potatoes, or just the O on its own, like in tomato. Quite often, it's the split bow digraph spelling. So don't forget, when we are thinking at the moment, we're thinking about what sound can I hear, and today's sound was O, we were looking then at the different ways that that sound could be spelled. Same sound, different spelling. Great job, everybody. Thank you for joining me for today's phonics. Hopefully, next time we do phonics, we'll be back in class again. So take care, everyone. See you next time. This was supposed to be a film by Mrs. Corley. Mr. Watley couldn't work the electronics. Mrs. Lewis said no, no one else would have a go. So now it's time for Mrs. Stevens Phonics. This was supposed to be a film by Mrs. Corley. Mr. Watley couldn't work the electronics. Mrs. Lewis said no, no one else would have a go. So now it's time for Mrs. Stevens Phonics.